<laughs> okay, so I have something really fun to do. You can do it with the kids or without the kids. Um, that's up to you. I'm doing it without Addie because she went to visit Pappy. But we're going to make pigs in a blanket. And when, because she asked when I left, when she left, I was like, okay, do you want pork and noodles reheated or what do you want for lunch? And she said she wanted hot dogs. So I forgot I had these. But what you need is you need crescent rolls. And the mini hot dogs. You can do it with regular hot dogs, too. I'm choosing to do it with the mini hot dogs. So. Oh. That's wrong. And what we're going to do is unroll this. And then you can cut each of these into three, I believe, to make your mini. I'm just gonna put those up there for now. Okay. Alrighty. Now, you can do this with the kids. I have not done, like, I did this once with my school children, but it just takes so long, and you need so many for each of them because there are so many of them. Like, I have ten. So I didn't, I did it once, and then we bought some the next time that were already done. But I haven't done this in ages, so. And all you do oop, is, after you cut it, each square triangle into three, you roll it up. Put it on your cookie sheet, and you get another one, and you keep doing this. Oops. So, like, I've had these little mini dogs for a while, and I was like, oh, I have to make, like, these uh, pigs in a blanket. Addie will love them. And I just haven't got around to it. But I have one more day after today with her before I go back to work. So I'm like, if I'm gonna do it, I gotta do it now. Harley, uh, okay. Ignore the things falling in the background. Harley moved some stuff, it's all good. So, do you think your kids will enjoy Pigs in a Blanket? Are you gonna try it? It is time consuming, but it's also fun. Okay. And I'm hoping Addie really, loves it and eats it and doesn't turn her nose up even though she didn't help make it the key with getting some picky kids to eat is have them help make it with you and they're more likely to try it i learned that from one of my food therapists and from trying to do it like trying to get kids to eat lots of things at school so Oops. Mm. I can't wait to eat these. I'm hungry. <laughs> so. Alright. Now, we put these in. You put your oven on 350 and you um, put them in for how long? Do you, I forget how long you put them in. Let me. Uh, 12 to 15 minutes I believe so I think so I'll have to look that up but now I have one of those little packs I think there are like 48 in a pack maybe I don't know I know whenever you go online it says you need two of these crescent rolls they only had one at the store when I went to get it that's it they were sold out of crescent rolls so I don't know if people are making a lot of the crescent rolls or if you're all making a lot of pigs in a blanket in this area. Who knows? Um, we're all virtual school right now, so 
It could be the kids are home and you want something to do at lunch. I don't know. Or it could be part of their uh, holiday plans. So. Uh, I'm hungry, so I can't wait to eat these. Alright, well, I think I've shown you enough. They will look just like the mini pigs, in, like little pigs in a blanket. If you do it with big hot dogs, you don't have to cut the triangles in half. You can just do um, one triangle per big hot dog. So, that's great if you have older kids that want to do it. and Or if you have the kids helping, that would be easier to do than all these little ones. So maybe next time, I might actually do this with my kids for, uh, instead of for snack, maybe we'll do it for lunch, and we'll be like, oh, we'll provide a pig in a blanket, and big hot dog, but that won't work because it's choking hazard for them. So I guess not. Because you gotta cut it. So it's not a choking hazard. If I had older kids, I would do that <laughs> for school, but eh. We'll have to wait and see what, what happens. I think I might put the leftovers, let dad put it into um, some beans, because he likes these little hot dogs with beans. So you can also do that with the leftover hot dogs. If you don't make all oh, both packs, because they didn't have them at the store. And you're supposed to do two trays. Whoops. I'm just doing the one because they only have the one crescent roll thing, so. Some of the hot dogs are sticking together, so gotta go for the ones that aren't. Oh, this. Right, I'm not the best at baking or art. It's the effort. It's just that you tried. You don't have to look perfect. You don't have to be Martha Stewart. So. Oops. Well, let's do this one. go and this makes a perfect tray I will have to um, separate some of those little I'm gonna do tater tots too so not just mini hot dogs because I don't think Addie and I are gonna eat all these and my sister already said she didn't want so maybe mom mom will eat some dad just ate his breakfast it's noon but he just ate breakfast so retirement what can you do all right i hope you enjoy this and try some of these for yourself merry christmas <laughs>